Hello, my name is Dr. Anthony Basil, and this is an example of my online teaching and learning development work. Here are three examples of my learning technology capability. Uh, the first uh, will be uh, the QMUL Business School, a good practice online teaching resource website. And then some of my research and webinar design with the 360 Immersive Fishbowl webinar. And finally, an example of a e-learning resource that I've made, which is the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. Now, the uh, uh, virtual learning community is from QMUL, and this is uh, demonstrating how my uh, experience uh, as an instructional designer in, in e-learning um, research and, and developer uh, provides uh, not just resources but an, uh, an environment to promote uh, an online community and, and culture of learning. Promoting a creative space for innovation um, uh, is uh, important and this webinar design that I'll uh, uh, talk about um, does that. And then finally um, being able to have a, uh, an online module where it, we promote reflective learning and uh, uh, demonstrating a help system uh, is available. So my first example with the, the QMUL Business School is a website uh, that we put together uh, in Moodle using a Web 2.0 learner generated approach. And this is based on the BT Dare to Share project. Here, what we've done is we've asked various uh, academics to produce uh, short video clips of uh, less than 10 minutes showing examples of how they've had successful online learning. And this has really been a very positive experience. Um, I've worked with the academics in terms of uh, producing the videos, and this has been a great way to get dialogue going and helping them to help each other. Uh, so um, here is an example of a video that I had put together. Uh, we're using the Moodle platform so that it's uniform all the way uh, throughout the, the website. Um, we've we've uh, edited the resources so that, for example, uh, the videos have uh, closed captions as well as uh, text transcripts that go with them. And we're uh, uh, constantly uh, catch, collecting uh, feedback from the various stakeholders so that we're able to improve uh, the website and, and continue to, to build this online community. Now, uh, an example of uh, uh, the uh, immersive fishbowl design can be seen on this uh, YouTube link. And this is a, a, a powerful uh, model that uh, I've adapted um, that uh, is using 360 video um, uh, in a, in a, a circle discussion or fishbowl discussion design. So a uh, Socratic uh, discussion is one where instead of sitting in rows, you have an opportunity to work with the experts in the middle and then you are exchanging your ideas and it's a brilliant uh, design for brainstorming, coming up with creative solutions, uh, being able to come up with uh, innovation that um, might not um, come from a, a traditional training or, or, or uh, lecture style. Um, this is elaborated on a book chapter that I've done in the University for the Future. And this uh, figure breaks down a, a little bit more of the technology that's involved with the 360 uh, camera in the middle the people sitting in the circle around it where we're, we're recording the audio, which is then transcribed into text um, and also tag clouds. We have people using mobile phones in order to be able to uh, capture what's going on, but then also to uh, send in the webinar uh, their perspective from their angle that's going on. And this brings in the virtual audience. So we have a local facilitator, which is uh, working with the audience physically as well as remotely. And this is a very powerful uh, method in order to create this uh, 
opportunity for brainstorming and uh, innovation. Now, the last example is the Wine and Spirit Education Trust. And here, uh, what we've done is we've put together um, a, a small online course uh, for um, the uh, learning champions. So people that have been doing the online courses, they have an opportunity to reflect on the various learning uh, 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 modules and online training uh, courses they've done. This has been done in a, a Moodle VLE, um, and it's using multiple types of media. So for example, we've got PDF uh, resources um, and printed handbooks. We also have videos for the stu students to, that uh, have an opportunity to take them through, um, online discussion forums, and then I'll finish off by uh, showing the dynamic frequently asked questions uh, system as well. You can have a look at this on the Google Sites website as well. And here is the first stage um, of the handbook. Uh, there are a few videos if you wish to uh, see the videos that I've recorded for this. And what this is, does is it, it brings the students through um, a reflective process of being able to put together this uh, e-learning journal. Now, I've worked with a colleague of mine, Dr. Mike Howarth, a former BBC uh, producer, and we've also included within this um, some resources and tutorials on how they can make these web video tips to success and uh, uh, the way it should be constructed and um, building their confidence and capability in terms of producing these video resources. And finally, um, the last section here is a, a little bit about the uh, help systems where uh, not just having an, an email uh, helpline, but also being able to uh, have a, a phone uh, capability to uh, speak to a real person. Um, not only that, but also be able to uh, speak to someone through web video conference. Uh, this is nice because it, sometimes you may want to share the screen if they're having some problems and then be able to talk them through it. But then also finally um, having a, a text uh, chatterbot, which uh, can be informed by the uh, emails and uh, text chats uh, that you have uh, with the students in order to build up that database of FAQ. Well, I hope this has been interesting, and uh, thank you very much uh, for listening to my presentation. Bye now.